Hey, all you clickers and fireflies. I'm Dale Robin Jr., the third, and this is Slow to Pro. The video series where I go from slow to the plateau of mediocrity. Today, we're at Kayalami on low fuel motorsport with a big 33 car grid. It's time for the green flag. And here we go, starting from the back, as we usually do. We are the 31st ranked driver in this lobby out of 33 total, so we're pretty low rank compared to everybody else. Uh, so I was expecting to come hopefully uh, mid to high 20s at the end of this race. As we get to the first major turn of Kyle Lani, we only get a few cars collected in the, in the first incident, which was a very welcome surprise considering how wide Kyle Lani is and how many cars we have on the circuit this evening. I expected a whole lot more carnage there. Lose the position to this Audi, but he's car number 16, so he ain't got nothing to do with us. We're car number 31. He's, he's not in our league. We don't have to worry about him. But he does have to worry about this BMW because what is he thinking? Woo, that's going to happen every time you do that, sucker. And that's going to give us two free positions, put us up into P26 on the opening lap. And I started thinking, well, hell, if I could just hold on to this, I'll be pretty happy. But it is still very early in the race. There is still two wide traffic in front of us, which means surely there's more carnage. And as I speak it, it happens. Audi into the tire wall. They're able to rejoin us. And before we get to turn 10, real quick, we're so close to 200 subscribers. So if you're enjoying this, even, you know, even a little bit, just think about it. You know, just think of the life we could have. Seriously, I appreciate the support and I'm, I'm really excited to continue this journey. And I thank you for being here at the start. But here we go into turn 12, also known as Mineshaft. I have no fucking clue why. I got a good line of cars in front of us. Got a decent gap to the cars behind us, but they are too wide. I was nervous I was gonna get smashed into by the Audi. Didn't happen. And now we're coming up to the Cheetah, and on that one, I wanted to look this desert cat in the eyes and clack my teeth at it and tell it, I'm not afraid of you, Cheetah. There's a reason you're on the protected species list. There's a reason you're almost extinct. And that reason is humans. So there's the close of lap one. We're all the way up into P25. I'm pretty happy with that. But let's go ahead and skip now to the end of lap two, open of lap three. All that happened on lap two was nothing. Just followed this McLaren around, hoping a mistake would happen. No mistake happened. So we pop out of the draft, get up alongside as we head into, again, what is technically turn two. I break where I need to. The McLaren breaks late because he can afford to with that outside line. And credit where it's due, the McLaren is able to hold me off. And on top of that, able to hold enough of an outside but inside line to get a much better run through turn whatever that is. And because of that McLaren's great defense, I got an Audi lurking on my back right here, but I decide to keep my eyes forward, ignore the Audi in my mirror, and just try to hit the best mark I can through sunset. And then I see this McLaren and Porsche battling it out. It's gonna allow the McLaren and I to catch up to them. And then we're gonna go human centipede, bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper, and I'm almost gonna hit the McLaren there, almost lose control of the car. And I'm gonna avoid doing both of those things. So that's a great success in my opinion. I'll take that to the bank, cash it in, and I'll tell Sheila she should come on back. Headed through turn 10, the McLaren took a really tight entry, which I thought might open something up on the outside, but look at that, I was wrong. So we tuck back in line, keep it tight and tidy, just sticking into the draft at this point, watching this McLaren bounce around through mine shaft here, and I try to peek up the inside, hoping he'd look at the mirror and forget a breaking point. But of course they didn't, and everybody's keeping it nice and clean. Everybody's kind of just being responsible. Coming up to the cheat again, I'm gonna look this Puma Cat square in the face, say, oh shit, we got bit. Headed off through the grass now, thankful for those tires being there to soften the blow. But nothing quite softens the blow of a cheetah bite that costs you three positions. We are down to P28 for the end of lap number three and the start of lap number four. But let's go ahead and skip ahead now about a half a lap. This black and green Audi in front of us is going to get a great run headed up the hill into turn 10. They're going to take an outside line because the other Audi blocks the inside. And hats off to that Valentino Rossi Audi for holding the inside line. We've got a BMW off the circuit here on the right hand side spinning like a top. That's an easy P27 for us. And these two knuckleheads going side by side. Let's see if these apes scrape. They do not. I start thinking I might be able to get on the action. I do not. And then I start thinking maybe booty blast. And I do not. I was able to refrain. And now we're headed up to this stupid spotted speedy cat. I'm gonna look at dead in the eyes and say, not twice. You don't get me two times. Not today. 
headed through the final turn of lap number four for the start of lap number five holding on to p27 sitting on the bumper of this audi in the draft hitting our shift points exactly where we need to we're gonna go ahead and sweep up alongside down creeping creeping lurking lurking seeing if we can make it work i missed the breaking point though we overshoot a tiny bit which is not the worst thing in the world considering that turn number three here is a right hander and it's right there so it's gonna actually work in our favor there's p26 but let's go ahead and skip ahead now to when we get to work on that black and green out it is lap number six and we're gonna get right on the tail of this audi so this driver's got to be glancing in the mirror at this point to at least check that they're not gonna get booty blasted by old devil robin jr the third but they're not don't you worry what I do want to do is stay inside their head so that way they're keeping their thought process on everything but their breaking point. So coming up here, headed into Cheetah, I'm going to make them think that I'm dumb enough to go alongside. Obviously, I'm not. I'm going to back out a little bit there. But the whole goal was to just try to get inside their head and maybe try to force a mistake. But the only mistake I was able to force was right here, headed into the final turn. I missed the breaking point, missed the turn, missed all everything about it pulled myself far enough out of the draft that I'm not going to be able to get a pass down the straight. So let's skip ahead to when we can actually get some work done. Here we are, lap number eight, headed into turn number five. The Audi's going to slip a little bit on the exit, which is going to open up the inside line and makes for a really easy pass to put us up into P24 after somebody in front of us went into pits for who the hell knows why. But let's go ahead and skip ahead one lap into the future when we're going to try to make our first move on this BMW here. Looks like the BMW sweeps inside, maybe in an effort to psych out that McLaren. It, it doesn't work. All it does is compromise their exit enough to give us a run on them. And they block the inside, and I trailer park boy around the outside. You've seen this before. Unfortunately, this time, couldn't make it stick. Great job to that BMW for, for being able to hold their speed and their line and not make any contact. So at this point, I know this BMW, they're going to defend. I get it. No big deal. I didn't expect this, though. Like, that squeeze, I wasn't anticipating that but I was able to react to it, and it doesn't take long for me to get frustrated, so I'm already ready to do anything I can to get around this BMW. I just want him out of my way. I try to go around the outside again, but I lock the brakes up. I turn too sharp. I do all the things wrong that you can do wrong, so not only do I lose that battle, but I lose the position to the Audi that was directly on my tail that whole time. And if we skip ahead now just a little bit to lap 10, going through sunset here the Audi has a little bit of a moment and we're able to squeeze up alongside and even though we're clear I still wanted to leave a little bit of room through turn seven here just to just to ensure that there would be no contact and that's going to give us p24 for the moment let's go ahead and skip ahead now to the next bit of action we're still on lap 10 and we're headed through turns 13 and 14 headed up to the cheetah i'm thinking please don't bite me please don't bite me please don't bite me please don't bite me fuck it bit me i hold the brakes as you should do and we're able to avoid collecting that bmw in our mistake but that's it for the action if we skip ahead we ended up crossing the line in p26 after gaining a few positions to people going off circuit as well as two people who straight up yielded their positions. Really wish I could have avoided that second cheetah bike, but that's racing. I'll have a uh, short video from the action of Ulton Park with Zealous Racing League early next week, and some action from Watkins Glen on Low Fuel Motorsport later next week. And as always, thank you so much for watching Soda Pro. I'm Dale Robin Jr., the third. You guys have the kind of day you want to have.